Carl and Son are delighted to present their latest collection, a collaboration with the Historic Royal Palaces organisation. Historic Royal Palaces are a charity organisation who look after five of the big royal residences in and around the London area. They are Hampton Court Palace, Kew Palace, Kensington Palace, Banqueting House and the Tower of London. So this was a great project to be involved in because we as a studio were allowed unlimited access to all of these areas. Um, we were allowed to photograph, take sketchbooks and what was immediately apparent was the huge wealth of decorative detail. Things like wrought iron work, plaster work, wooden panelling, not least the fantastic gardens. We begin with Royal Garden which was inspired by King William and Queen Mary's love of all things exotic. This king and queen lived at Hampton Court Palace. They loved gardening, they loved the importation of rare bulbs, exotic plants, birds, etc. And so this seemed like a perfect print to put into this collection. We started off with this sort of wonderful sort of leafy foliage which is actually part of the Cole and Son archive. This was an original document and what we've done is we've just added some beautifully drawn birds in and amongst the foliage just to give it a lyricism and a bit of exoticism. So this particular design comes in four lovely colourways. This sort of wonderful emerald green with purple birds. It's lovely older historic olive green. These soft coral birds. A really smart, cool grey. And then finally, a more daring midnight version, the sort of charcoal grey ground with moonlit leaves and these sort of lovely jade blue, jewel-like birds on top. This is surface printed, so it has a wonderful texture to it. This is an original document which would have been block printed, so we've tried to faithfully reproduce it as closely as we can. Duke's Damask. This was originally a silk design which we found on the walls of both Hampton Court Palace and Kensington Palace. Cole and Son actually have a cylinder for this original print. It was originally in a house called Temple Newsom and again we've reproduced it here in seven luscious colourways and we wanted to move away from sort of classic traditional colours, the reds and the heavy greens. We wanted to give it a lighter, cooler feel. So we've reproduced this sort of lovely stone colour, cool grey, all tone on tone, sort of lovely duck egg, blue, an old soft olive, sort of fresher olive, again classic Chinese yellow, and finally a rather surprising rose pink again. We wanted to include a warmer, redder colour, but um, we didn't want to go down the classic route. Clock Court. Now Clock Court is interesting, it's actually taken originally from a ceiling in the cloisters at Hampton Court Palace. It was originally carved plaster work, which we at Cole and photographed and have painted over to create this sort of wonderful, subtle panel design, which works beautifully as a very subtle but effective all over paper. Here we can see the original artwork which has all this wonderful decorative scrolling detail, this sort of tonal plaster work in the background. We've reproduced this in three shades of whites, so we have a sort of strong ecru here, a softer, cooler white, and then a warmer parchment colour. Tudor rose border. When I went to Banqueting House, one of the first things that struck me was the use of the Tudor rose as a motif. It crops up throughout all of the palaces, but particularly in the railings in front of Banqueting House, it was a very striking feature. So we wanted to try and get that in somewhere, and we felt that a little sort of ribbon border would work really well with this motif. We are also quite concerned with the layering effect. There's so much architectural detail in the Royal Palaces, little ribbons of carved woodwork. We felt that we really sort of wanted to convey that sense of just over decorative detailing with the papers, which you can see in the photography. We've often used several papers in the photography. Queen's Key. This is an interesting pattern because it's quite an old pattern. 
sort of old name, if you like, is called Greek key, and it's quite a classic, never-ending pattern. It's been used throughout the world, but we actually noticed it used as a border in Q Palace. This little border was applied around doorways, around windows, etc., and it was just a very interesting use of small border. We liked it so much that we decided that we'd like to do it as an all-over paper as well, hence Queen's Key paper. Here we have it in six colourways, two colourways of soft neutral, stone and a grey, again a rather more vibrant green, and then three softly metallic colourways of a sort of silver on grey, gold on cream, and a rather more moody silver on a mole background. In addition to the Queen's Key as an all-over paper, we have reproduced it also as a border, but in contrasting colours. So we have six colours here, sort of lovely black and white, soft coral on cream, more daring bronze on black, stone and white, duck egg and silver, and a green and black, which was the original colourway we saw in Queen Charlotte's chamber at Kew Palace. Exotics. Going back to King William and Queen Mary and their love of all things exotic, one of the plants which they did import were the amaryllis, which is a member of the lily family. So we've created this wonderful all over blousy floral in two lovely colourways, pink with olive green and a rather more subtle olive with lilac and purple. These look stunning all over a wall, they really are a real showpiece. Library panel. Throughout the palaces, there's evidence of wooden panelling, carved wood everywhere, and we felt that it would just translate beautifully to a wallpaper. So we've reproduced panel design in seven colourways, sort of chalky shades of ivory, cream, soft linen, duck egg blue, olive green, a dark mole and charcoal. Now what's interesting is this is a paper which is hung traditionally as a vertical paper but we've actually designed a frieze or a horizontal paper to go with it which we have called library frieze and we've designed this to coordinate directly with library panel wallpaper so it's produced in exactly the same colours but it is designed to be hung horizontally underneath the wallpaper. We think this is an extremely effective way of creating a really grand but subtle scheme within a home. Great Vine. One of the most famous aspects of Hampton Court Palace is its vine. This is a vine which is over 200 years old, still bears grapes every year, and it's one of the oldest vines in the world. So we couldn't really do a collection based on royal palaces without including this pattern. It's a surface printed pattern, so we get that lovely effect of depth and texture. And it's just an all over beautiful foliage design, reproduced in four colourways. There's emerald green, sort of more elegant old olive, soft neutral and duck egg blue. Going back to all the architectural detailing within the palaces. Another very common feature were plaster coving and cornicing around the tops of walls and ceilings. And again, we did a similar thing with, as we did with Clock Court, and we took some very good photographs of a lot of this panelling, this coving, and painted over it to create this 40 centimetre wide border, which is a trompe l'oeil elegant Georgian coving effect. We've only reproduced it in the one colourway, sort of off-white, which is traditionally how you would expect to see this kind of plaster work. We think that will finish off beautifully any wallpapered room. And the beauty as well is that this can be used with any wallpaper across any collection. So here we have regalia. Within this paper we've used various elements from the crown jewels, crown and scepter, diamonds, and the ever-present Tudor rose motif. This has been produced in four colourways, in a very elegant grey. We're sort of very much liking this grey feel at the moment. It's very smart and very cool. It's lovely stone and white. Duck egg, this was a very popular colour. And this sort of old olive with this lovely burnished copper effect. King's mirror. 
Within Hampton Court, in King William III's chambers, we found a lot of Venetian glass and Venetian mirrors. This was something that would have been imported directly from Italy and was seen as exotic and evidence of wealth. We felt we wanted to do something with this, and so using a foil-based paper, we've managed to reproduce this wonderful mirrored effect. But we've actually added this sort of shadowy foliage behind it, just to give it a little bit of interest and to tie it in with the gardens, produced in two colourways, sort of silver and a warmer, soft gold. Palace maze. We couldn't visit Hampton Court without taking a visit to the famous maze. We wanted to add a little bit of geometry to the collection, and the maze seemed like the perfect vehicle for this. It took us quite a while to work out things like perspective, how we looked at this paper, how we turned it from being something three-dimensional into something that was just made simply a really nice, smart, geometric pattern. So we've worked on lots of drawings, trying to work out how we approach it. This is what we finally came up with, sort of lovely all over, almost Chinese in a way, interlocking geometric trellis with a slight shadow on it to give a hint of three-dimensionality reproduced here in four colourways. Again, this rather moody, midnighty silver on mole, more contemporary black and white, soft stone on white, and of course, the original green on white. <laughs>